Hello Unicorns and welcome back to my channel and this video that is going to be all about my haul from the Coastal Sense Hot Pot Sale. You know I love Coastal Sense Hot Pots, I have several videos about Coastal Sense Hot Pots and if you want to check out some others I will leave my videos up here so you can have a peek but generally I wanted to pick up some more colorful shadows because I feel like when I'm doing my make your own videos and like generally speaking about duping colors I feel like I'm lacking some of the more colorful options so I ended up picking up a lot of colorful options also an online makeup store here in Sweden called Bellis which is a really nice store they are now having Coastal Sense in their store plus a lot of other really cool brands and they asked me if I wanted to try some Coastal Sense obviously I said yes because I love Coastal Sense and I did end up getting wait wait I did end up getting this revealed palette and I actually did a tutorial on this palette and if it's already up I will either leave it here or link it down here or maybe it's not up already and it will be up I don't know which one but I'm really liking that palette to be honest and I wish that they would do more palettes like that but with their colorful eyeshadows that would be so cool but I also got some singles uh, from Bralis and I put them in a Coastal Sense palette like this with a so some of these are colors that I got from Bralis because they have mostly neutral ones and some of them are uh, colors that I picked up from the sale myself. Actually the colors that Bralis sent me and some of the colors that I picked up was the same so I put those colors in a giveaway that I will be having on my channel real soon with some really cool stuff. But here are the colorful ones I got. I actually got one of these big palettes from Coastal Sense as well. Aren't you excited about this? I am excited about this. I think they look amazing. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do some close-up swatches of all of these shadows so you can see how they perform and I can tell you how I feel about them Ooh. and if there's any of them that don't really swatch as amazingly. To be honest, Coastal Scents are a bit hit and miss because some of the colors, since they're so affordable, they're only $2 each per shadow, which is so affordable, but then once, twice, or three times a year, they will have a big sale on Hot Pots, and then they're only $1 each, so there's 50% off. That's when I tend to buy a lot of my Hot Pots. Normally, they have one of those sales during Black Friday, so if you want to wait, I think now you're going to have to wait until Black Friday, but do keep it in mind when Black Friday comes that Coastal Sense most probably is going to have a really big nice sale so yeah i think that's what i wanted to say i really like their quality some of them are really amazing like comparable to any bigger brand like makeup geek or well i can't really come up with any on the top of my head but some of them are really good some of them need some fix plus to work uh, because normally the shimmers on the metallics from Coastal Sense are really good but some of them are a bit powdery and you might need some fix plus but I haven't come across any of the shimmers that I didn't like if they are a bit powdery I just use some fix plus and they work in pressingly like so good you don't have to worry about it at all so yeah let's get into some uh, swatches so i'm going to start with swatching this palette for you it contains 12 shades that i picked out myself and put in this palette i basically put the neutrals in this palette and the more colorful ones in the other palette this contains both shadows that i bought myself and some that i got from bralis.se i will link them down below so we're going to start in the upper corner and work our way down this first one is Reef Sand. It's quite pigmented. It's like a shimmery nude color. Next one is Victorian Pear. It's like a shimmer, like a nudey pinky shimmer. That is actually quite sheer and you probably need to build that up a bit. Let's see if we can build it up a bit. Yeah, you could probably foil that to make it even prettier, but it is a bit sheer. The next one is called pale nude and it would be like a very nude transition shade or like a very nude um, lid shade. It is not super opaque but it would work just fine as a transition shade but you can't really see it here so it's not especially pigmented if you're looking for something really pigmented. The next shade is Antique Maroon and that is a beautiful maroon shimmer that is really pigmented and nice. Next color is called Tuscan Terracotta and this is another matte, well it has a bit of shimmer to be honest. I mean I don't think this is entirely matte, it's more like a soft satin but it probably work really good in the crease to be honest. The sixth shade is called Dreamsicle and ooh, it's like a peach frost, it is beautiful, 
really really pretty so these are the six first shades and two of them this one and this one are quite sheer but I really like the other ones and I think these would work really good in the crease if you're doing a softer look or if you're starting out with something light the next shade is called Georgia Peach and it is like dreamsicle but it's just a bit darker so this has more of that peachy look. It is really pretty. Next color is called Bittersweet Orange and this was one of the colors that I was really interested in. It is a matte but it has a little shimmer in it but I am sure that this would work amazing in the crease as a matte because the shimmer is not really transferring that much. And next color is called Mai Tai. Mai Tai is like a taupey shimmer and it is actually very pretty and very pigmented and that is beautiful. The next color is Fine Wine and this is like a burgundy matte. It is not extremely pigmented but as you can see it builds up pretty nice and I'm sure that this will work really nice in the crease. The next color is Raspberry Tart. Ooh, look at that color. So, so, so pretty. The next color is Maroon Berry and it is also a matte. Just like the other one, it is lacking a little bit of pigmentation, but I am sure that you could build that up to something really pretty in the crease. I'm also going to swatch two colors that I have that didn't fit in any of the palette. Let me show you. This is Caramelized and Pink Frost, and I'm also going to swatch these so you can see how they look. So this is Caramelized. Ooh, that color is intense. Pretty. And this is Pink Frost the name right that is also really pretty I am loving these colors look at these this will make an amazing palette to be honest these are so nice I think I love all of these wow so next we are gonna swatch all of these I put these in this palette myself this is a coastal sense palette an empty one with a clear lid as you can see it says coastal sense and I just put all of these in myself one of them arrived a bit broken if you follow me on snapchat I will leave my snapchat name down below you can always follow me on my other social medias this one came a bit broken but it was just a tad like just the corners but it looked worse than it actually was and I was able to save it I am gonna start up here with the yellow one I'm so into yellow now and I'm gonna swatch them row by row. Mm -hmm. I think these first matte yellows are gonna be very pale. Oh, it wasn't that bad. This is Electric Pineapple. The next one is called Bright Yellow. And then this one is called Solar, Solar Flare? Solar Flare. It is a shimmer one. This third one and the other ones are matte. Hmm, let me build them up a bit and see if we actually can because normally yellows are really hard. Give me a second. So let's see if we can get a bit more of electric pineapple, bright yellow, and solar flare. They are really pretty, but normally yellows are really hard to work with. So if you'd like to work with yellows on your eyes, you could also prime with a white primer before. That actually helps a lot. But I'm so into yellows lately, I'm actually thinking about doing a look with just these three today. Ugh, love yellows. Fourth shade is called Miss Marigold, and it is like an orangey yellow shimmer that is absolutely stunning. The next one is called Light Tangerine, and it is a matte. Ooh, that's actually really pigmented and nice. I think you could build this up into something really spectacular. And the next shade is called Volcanic Blast. It felt a bit dry, as do all reddish shades, to be honest. But I think you could build this up into something really nice. I'm actually enjoying this row a lot, even though some of them are a bit light. So if you want to try some colors like this and you're not sure if it's your jam, you could short try out some coastal sense. Let me swatch the last one in the row as well. Last one in the row is called Pomegranate Red and I actually think that this one will build up to something really pretty. It looks absolutely stunning in the pan and this is actually quite nice. I think all of these colors are quite buildable. Hmm, I'm enjoying this row a lot. I'm actually re-swatching this row because something happened with the camera and I have no idea about this lighting and stuff. I wish I was better at technique but I'm just not. The first one is called Capri Blue and it is a shimmer sky blue. You do need to build this up a bit or use some Fix Plus but it has a beautiful tone. Really pretty. 
Next one is called Electric Blue. It is a matte and it is quite sheer. And yeah, you're gonna have to build this one up a bit if you wanna use it. I don't really recommend this one, but if you wanna get a matte blue from Coastal Sense, you can get this one instead. So beautiful. This is indigo and it builds up like nobody's business. Cannot wait to use this indigo. I think it is absolutely stunning. Stunning. Next color is another shimmer. It is called Masserine Blue. It does actually swatch a bit better than this first one, Capri Blue, but this has a bit more green tone in it, so I prefer this color to be honest, tone-wise, but this one swatches a bit better. The next one is called Dark Mango, and if you are ordering from Coastal Sense, you get this matte. It is stunning, so smooth, so buildable, not patchy at all, super pretty. Yeah, I get that one. Dark Mango, beautiful. Next color is Hollywood Cerise, and this is a beautiful, super pungent, like, bright pink matte. Super beautiful. If you're into pinks, you might need this one as well. And the last color is called Hot Tamale. It is not super pigmented. It is a red with a pink undertone, but I'm guessing that with a brush you could probably build this up a bit. But build this up a bit. It is a beautiful tone though, but it's nothing close to as good as these two. They're pretty amazing and this matte one was really good as well. So that is the second row. Okay, third row and we are starting off with mints. This one is Reef Blue. Yeah, Reef Blue. It is a minty, lovely shimmer. Really nice, really opaque. I actually really enjoy this color. The next color is called Minty Fizz, same thing, a minty shimmer, but as you can see this has more of a frosty metallic sheen to it and it is lighter, so they are not exactly dupes even though they're similar. Next one is called Sea Lily, it is a matte minty color that is quite sheer but I bet you could build it up a bit, yeah, look at that, you can really build that up. It's actually quite nice for being a pastel, so these are the first three colors. Fourth color is also a minty color, it's called Azure Frost. It is, as you can see, really opaque and nice and has even more of the darker minty tone. Next one is called Teal Green, it is a matte, I wouldn't call this a teal green, it's more like a matte bluish forest green. It's really, actually really pretty and I think this would build up amazingly on the eyes. I really recommend all of these colors to be honest, they're pretty. Next color is more of a green color. It is called Shamrock Green and look at that pigment. Wow! That is beautiful. It is, has more of a true grass green tone than this one that is a bit darker and has a bit of a blue undertone. The last color in this row is Vibrant Plum, which is a, oh my god, beautiful matte reddish purpley deep lovely color. Oh my god, I love all the colors in this row. All these colors are really nice and buildable and not patchy and quite enjoying them, so yeah, I'd recommend all of these to be honest. So, let's get into the fourth row. The first color is Elven Green. I've been wanting this color for really long because I love all the shades that assess something Elven within the Coastal Sense range. And this is really pretty, like a light, light green with almost like a minty hinge. And the next one is called Honey Eye Dew, which is oh, so pretty, like a I don't know what to call it, like a slime grass green. Oh, that's so pretty. That is really pretty. Both of these colors are shimmers. They're not intensely like metallic. They're just nice shimmers. Next one is called Sassy Grass. And this is a matte color. Or is it? No, it's more like... Let's say this is more like a satin color, but you could probably use this as a matte in the crease. It is absolutely stunning. I highly recommend this color. Wow. These two together would make such a nice green look. Mm. Next color was the color I was looking forward to the most. It is prehistoric green and it looks so unique, the color. It's like a deep, just 
primal green. Not primal green doesn't exist, but you know what I mean. Like it's not yellow, it's not blue, it's not red, it's not anything, it's just green. Actually this builds up really nice. It showed up thin on some swatches and some people were saying that it's not like the best color ever, but I think it builds up really nice and I think this would be a nice color to use in the crease. Next color is called Fresh Shive and this is much drier. You could probably build it up a bit, but yeah, this one is much drier. Oh, it does build up pretty nice though, so you could probably use that one as well, but I much prefer this one though. This one, as you can see, a bit thinner, a bit drier, but you could probably build it up a bit. You saw I build it up a bit. Second to last color is grape wine, and it is a beautiful, like a cooler green with slight gold undertone that is a beautiful metallic. As you can see, that was super smooth and beautiful. Really nice texture if you're into a green metallic. And the last one is called Pinehurst. It is a satin green, but it works mostly like a matte. And as you can see, it is actually pretty dry. And I don't know if this will work better with a brush. But as a finger swatch, it didn't really impress that good. But as you can see, I could build it up a bit. So the winners in this row is definitely these first three. Well, these first four and that one. These two are a bit dry and you have to build them up a bit to make them work on the eyes. But I don't really know how they will work with the brush, so I will have to let you know. But just so you can see how all the colors look. So that was my big haul from the Cult of Scent Hot Pot Sale for the summer. Did you have any favorites? Are there any color in specific that you would like me to do a tutorial on? Because I'm thinking about doing a colorful tutorial with just using Coastal Scents Hot Pots. Ooh, let's have a poll! I'll have a poll up here and I'll just put some colors up and you can vote for which kind of color you would like to be in that look. So the color that wins will be the main look for the look that I'm doing with Coastal Scents Hot Pots. So do take advantage of that and vote up here so we can do something really fun. And yeah, I think that was it. Uh, like I said, I'll leave a couple of videos up here about other Coastal Scents Hot Pots that I have because I have a big collection by now and to be honest I've swatched pretty much all of them on my channel I think I missed like a couple or so but they've been mentioned in other videos so if you're not new to my channel you know I talk a lot about Coastal Sands Hot Pots because I think they're really affordable and nice and it's perfect if you're unsure about what colors fit you you can just get some affordable ones and if you end up really liking them either you can buy more of that color in Coastal Sands or if you want to try a higher end brand to see if the quality is better but to be honest Sometimes they are better, but sometimes they are just comparable, so I really think Coastal Sense is doing a good job with having eyeshadows that you can actually make work because maybe not all of them are just a one swipe color, especially the mattes, but you can really build them up and make it work and I've been having so much fun with my hot pots. I do really recommend them. And yeah, I think that was it. Don't forget to subscribe. The button's down below. You know, I upload videos in your... You know, I upload videos every week and I would love to have you. And I will see you in my next one, which will be really soon. Bye!